So uh, there was a meeting uh, with the South Korean president, Yoon, today at the White House, and they had a joint press conference. Um, Mr. Biden was 90 minutes late to that press conference. Something happened very interesting before the press conference. So Yoon and Biden are sitting there in the Oval Office, and there are some reporters, pool reporters there. And Biden is talking about what the conversation was this morning. Now, look at him. Look at President Biden. He's reading off a card what he and Yoon talked about. Now, most every human being on the planet would just tell you, would look you in the eye and say, hey, President Yoon and I spoke about this, this, and this. Biden has to read off a card what he was just talking about to Yoon. Now, I almost guarantee you no one else will pick that up. I told Hannity today, because I did a radio hit with him, I said, check that out. This is so unusual. You're looking down Biden like this at the card to explain what the president of South Korea and he were talking about this morning. Now, I don't want to make a tremendous deal out of this, but isn't it weird? (laughs) I mean, come on. So then, as I said, he's supposed to have a press conference at 1230. I told my staff, that's never going to happen. Okay? Um, And he was 90 minutes late, which, you know, that's his prerogative, as some people might say. But it's insulting to be late. And he is always. I got three sound bites for you. First, I just want to run down This is the 24th press conference he's had in 27 months in office. Most of them are very short. Today's was very short. Trump at the same time, all right, 27 months, had 51, Obama 46. So you can see Biden doesn't do these very much. And when he does, they're truncated. Where did they truncate it? All right, the first soundbite that I have is the general overarch of why the South Korean president was here. Look, a nuclear attack by North Korea against the United States or its allies or partisans uh, or partners is unacceptable and will result in the end of whatever regime were to take such an action. Okay, that's good. Just warn Putin and everybody else, you use a nuke, you're toast. Now, you can speculate whether Biden would have the cojones to do that. Uh, He'd have to do it. Any nation using a nuclear weapon now, they're gone. You would have to. So I'm down with that. That's the first soundbite. Second soundbite is politics. Go. Think about what I inherited when I got elected. I inherited a nation in overwhelming debt at the time, number one, in the hole for the four years that he was president. I inherited a nation that had a serious loss of credibility around the world as America first. And, you know, the first meeting I attended the G7, I said, America's back. And one of the world leaders looked and said, for how long? For how long? There was a great concern about the United States being able to lead the free world. And we're doing that again. That's propaganda. I mean, you got the Ukraine war. You got Xi saber rattling against Taiwan. Uh, Trump didn't have any of that. Um, Biden goes, I inherited, a, you know, a big debt. Biden has increased that debt more than any other president in the history of this country. And part of the debt under Trump, who was a big spender, no doubt he was, okay, was COVID. So, you know, Biden gets out there and he just says stuff. He didn't care whether it's true or not. You all know this. We've been doing this now for a year. Now, the next one is more extensive. Uh, This is a reporter asking Biden about his poor image among Americans. Go. You recently launched your reelection campaign. You've said questions about your age are legitimate. And your response is always, just watch me. But the country is watching. And recent polling shows that 70 percent of Americans, including a majority of Democrats, believe you shouldn't run again. What do you say to them? What do you say to those Americans who are watching and aren't convinced. You've said you can beat Trump again. Do you think you're the only one? I may not be the only one, but uh, uh, I know him well, and I know the danger he presents to our democracy. And we've been down this road before. 
And with regard to, uh, to age, you know, and, and polling data, I noticed the polling data I keep hearing about is that I'm between uh, uh, 42 and 46 percent favorable rating, et cetera. And, uh, but everybody running for re-election in this time has been in the same position. There's nothing new about that. We're making it sound like Biden's really underwater. Um, and uh, number one. Number two, when the same polling data asks whether they think what kind of job I've done, it gets overwhelmingly positive results from 58%. It's not true. I mean, it's so false, it's staggering. So there's a poll out this week by CBS News, certainly a liberal organization. All right, job approval or disapproval on Biden, 59% disapprove. So Biden says, just to remind you, all right, that he has positive results, 58%. He doesn't have, I'm looking at now the polling from this week to the beginning of April, all right, in every single poll, he's got disapproval over 50 and approval from 39 to 42. And Biden says to the world, I, 58% people think I'm doing a good job. But what do you do? What do you do? We the people, what do we do? I mean, it's like that character, the John Lovitz character on Saturday Night Live. Remember him? Yeah, that's a ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The press is numb to it, and, and they favor Democrats anyway, so they're not going to analyze it like I would. Does Biden know that he's unpopular, that his job approval rating this week at CBS News is 59% disapproval? Does he know? No, he doesn't know. He's not like Trump who watched TV news incessantly. Biden never does. He lives in a bubble and they tell him stuff and then and that's it. He doesn't know. The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year's stocks dropped a whopping 20%. 2023 could be worse. You are right to be worried. So call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Since I've been a client and spokesperson, the price of gold has appreciated more than 35%. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers and have the highest rating in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Please tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201. That's 866-501-5201, or text BILL to 65532. Again, that's 866-501-5201, or text BILL to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.